YouTube. We are back. I am back from my trip and I'm joined by the brother bear, the highway man, the kaiju king himself, DJ. Jack and Kobe. Old Jack faithful. and Kobe. It's good to be back. back. At it. I've missed this, man. It's it's good to be back. Sitting here talking digi with you. I miss you. I miss you too. But like, we... Like in a sexual... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh. Oh, keep going. You, keep going. You, you can finish the sentence. No, we'll, we'll talk about it off the camera. Okay, okay. But we are bringing some matches from Sully's Abode, which is the local car shop that we go to every Thursday for Digi. We pop off at about 6, 6.30 p.m. So if you're in the area, want to join us, um, like I said, Thursday, 6.30. They're located in Bolingbrook, Illinois. So feel free to swing by. They're a great shop. Uh, they've built a really great community of various TCGs over the past couple of years. Digimon, One Piece, Vanguard, Shadowverse, all that good stuff. So I'll drop their TCG player link down in the video description below if you want to check them out. Uh, today's matchup features uh, Jarrell on the left playing good old red hybrid going up against TJ on the right playing Dragon Links. Um, I'll be honest with you, uh, some of the stuff I'll, you'll probably have to catch me up to speed as I'm still trying to like read through what EX7 is doing. Um, I got gotcha. you. Appreciate you. Don't but, worry. I mean, Red Hybrid doing Red Hybrid things. We know what it does. It goes fast and it hits hard. It's just a matter of can Dragon Link set up. So I guess we'll see how this turns out. Mm -hmm. uh, before we hop into the round itself, though, a couple things. If you like the content, you like what you're seeing, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate it. And also consider hitting that bell uh, so you're notified as to when these videos go live. And last but not least, if you have seen our deck profiles, which the guys have been great in churning out over the past couple weeks, and TJ also posted an announcement in our Discord um about member perks if you haven't become a member yet or want to learn how to do so check out the link down in the video description below along with the link that contains our socials which has our discord instagram twitter all that good stuff uh, but enough jibber jabber for me let's hop right into the round over here i really like those sleeves on your deck by the way thank you yeah I, I think uh i think i found the better the better match for the uh the the man of moon uh, bordered over sleeves. Oh, those are Mana Moon sleeves. Yeah, yeah. They Shout are. out Mana Moon. So I start. I go ahead. I go uh, a little into a little Vorvo in the back and just drop a tie. Just like you know what, mm -hmm. I'll just turn one. Memory setters ain't bad. Just get the yeah. And DP climbing against Red Hybrids never a bad thing either. Yeah, I wish I wish I had a way to more reliably uh uh like redirect. I do. That's something I, I wish is that mm. I wish that the um. Both the top ends for this, they have very powerful effects, but I wish they had, they had a keyword or something. Yeah, yeah, they do a yeah. lot, but there's no, yeah, like you said, there's no keyword. They, they play the game too fair. That's what that's mm -hmm. what we decided when we were talking about. I've I've harped on about this all night, but <laughs> it, it, they definitely just play the game too right. fair. So Jarrell does a check there with the flame on, hits um a what is that a burp, 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 level five yeah, right? Uh, it's a uh, Jazzerich. Jazzerich. Uh, I go into another Volvo in the back. So I have a pretty good setup going. I mean, I have yeah. a Hina, I have a tie, but I am missing a level. F I think I was missing a six. Mm. Um, or if I had one, I wanted to. No, I did have one. I just didn't want to uh, go into it. Just I wanted to wait. Sure. So I do go into it here. I go into a uh, Volcanic Tra here. So that Volcanic Tra is the one that uh, on Evo, your opponent can't play or move Digimon with 6,000 DP or less. So it's pretty helpful. It's pretty nice. So you can't hard slam rookies. You can't. Uh, like move up your your stack in the back if it's less than six KDP. It's it's mm -hmm. it's pretty strong. Yeah. Now Jarrell here does go over the Takuya, surpassing that um six K threshold. Goes into Alda. Um, yeah. So yeah. Yeah, he thought he was bigger than me, and I'm able to use the tie to redirect and gain two KDP mm. because I have the Jazz Rich Inheritable. He just goes ahead and passes his turn with another memory setter to Kuya. You swing Volcanic. Um, is bigger than the Ancient Gray in security. So it survives the check. And big 17k guy. And so here we come to the issue of uh, of the deck being a little bit kind of stuck. So um, mm -hmm. I have to go ahead and use the Hina to activate the on play as a one digi evolving so I can pitch a card with Rock Dragon or Earth Dragon in trades to draw two. I swing with the ja uh, the Jazzard and it lives, and then I go ahead and just drop another Hina. Yeah. Um. 
And the other is, issue with this deck yeah. is because you're dual color, but you're not actually multicolored cards. You can't run trainings. You can't run boosts like reliably. I was reliably. just about to say, yeah. And he one knows of the things game. we talked about too is like mm -hmm. how fair it is and how much Digivolution can tend to cost in a game that is very like super speed right now. Yes, it's already so like there's so much memory stuff that happens as it is that it's it's, it's hard enough already. But sorry, I interrupted um, you. You were saying about Hina. No, you're fine. No, you're good. Um, but the the thing with Hina is that she's very easily played around, right? It's you know, as long as as long as my opponent keeps their board clear and they don't keep Digimon on board until like they're ready to do their thing, I just suffer. Mm -hmm. um, he goes ahead and uses Ancient Grey uh, on Evo to pop the Jazzard and then swings, and I'm able to redirect into my uh, Volcanitra. The redirect is so big. The Jazzard's redirect is honestly so huge. Um, I am since updating my build from the build that's here on cam. Uh, that I, I, I I'll, I'll probably show off eventually, but um, I am a, a dreamer. <laughs> I want a I want good Dragon wall here. So yeah. Um, so I'm able to swing, mm. pop the the boy, and then do the check. Because when attacking, this I can just delete lowest, uh, lowest DP. Ancient deities option in security. So Jarrell's able to place. I believe he plays out a tamer, correct, and then adds the card to hand. He, but it seems like no yeah, tamer actually, to play. Yeah, he didn't have a tamer to play, so he just added the card to him. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I go ahead and drop the um the Lavorvo to go ahead and grab back the Hina. And then I go Volcanitra, and then it just would gain me a memory, basically, because there's nothing with 6 KDP or less on board. Is it Volcanic or Larvo? Or Lavo Garita, sorry. Yeah. Noise. Jarrell look like looks like he's debating the Evo off of Takuya. Does go into a Burning Gray. Uh, then goes into another Burning Gray. For one, um, then goes into so, a Boonie. Yeah. You know, there's oh. a little bit of a mishap here. So he went to swing, but he realized it's the wrong Burning Gray. So he just Evos for one. And then Evos. <laughs> oh, no. And then it dies. <laughs> and then he's like, okay, let's just go next. I'm like, okay. Fair. All right. So you sneak out of game one. Yeah, having the tie early was huge. Um, and then the Jazz Rich Inheritable just did so much work, just being able to redirect into my big guy. Sure. Um, now, and the, and the thing is, is yeah, like, right. it's it's there's a there's a fear to clearing the Volcanic Drop because of the all turns effect, where I can just spit out mm -hmm. uh, a Metallic Drop from my hand um, to just Digivolve four, or I can spit out a lot of things. I can spit out Jazz Rich to D to one. Um, I can even get Search or something like that. You know. Now, is Jazzerich the only one with the inheritable for, uh, like, the redirect? Or are there Correct. other ways? It is. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's it's to the point where I have thought about running. Because um, oftentimes I pass turn when I Evo. Because just the Evo costs are so high. So I've thought about running uh, EX7 Shoto just to give blocker end of turn. Sure. I was about to say, yeah. That's not a bad option. It's also more memory. Um, but at the end of the day, I just still haven't really... I haven't committed. I don't know. I'm testing different builds. This is my second iteration that I think is definitely better than my first, but it's it's still it's still needing some juice. I mean, admittedly, I really just I want the Garnet boost so bad, mm -hmm. but we don't get those till December. So. So Jarrell um, swings with the Uko, pays the memory off of GG to pop your little guy and then drops a BT-17 to Kuya for three. Yeah, that's pretty good fly. Yeah, it was pretty good play. And Uko um, was I go big guy Vorbo. living too. Yeah, I go Lavarvo, drop a Hina. And I go Volcanic draw. draw. I go ahead and tap Hina. To pop, pop Uko. the Uko so I can, I can activate his on play and then I gain a memory. Mm -hmm. Uko pushes up, cycles three, can pick up the Flame Mon here. Gains a memory off of Takuya and then hatches going into flame. Swings, dies, but does do a security check. Yeah. Typical red hybrid things. And then the... drops a memory setter Takuya. Yeah. And so, so this is the thing I'm bored with I can really do here. The um or at least I can't get any memory off of Hina. The one of the biggest things I think I've learned about Dragon Links too, aside from it just, you know, having high evil cost of playing the game very fair. Mm-hmm. Um 
you, you like okay a lot of decks at, at this current current like point in the game can like swing and like evo and do aggression and like gain memory and yada yada dragon links is just like okay i have to climb to my level six before i can actually start swinging but i don't have any means of like end of turn swinging or like getting like blitz mm -hmm. or or something like there's no and because stuff is such a high memory cost you almost always pass turn when you evo to your six and then you basically just have to pray that it, like it stays on board for you to get like full um value, full value. yeah Ooh, Jarrell does run a boost um and then does decide to play the option card for two um is deciding what to do but i mean you do have the ancient gray option just to go ahead and pop your level six uh so we'll choose to do that for a cost of two yeah. by digi crossing with the requirements pops it and calls it a day yeah and so at this point i'm pretty boned <laughs> like there's not <laughs> there's not much i could do like i have two security left i haven't even yeah. gotten to chip security because i was basically just spending the whole time just trying to make build a body build up yeah um, I finally get to one and it goes bye bye. Uh, I play a couple of analog use. Yeah, I'm just trying to find pieces because I was missing like everything that I needed. And then, um, I so okay, so I go ahead and I go to Dorbic here, and then I realize wait, I don't have enough. Like, it's it's two K DP for each source I place, and I realize I'm like oh short. I just a little bit. I fucked up. Yeah, I messed up. So, um. I'm realizing this. It's me explaining to Jarrell. Jarrell's okay. He's like, you can take it back if you want. And I'm like, okay, if you're cool with it. And then I, so I'm like, okay. But I think I still ended up doing it anyways because I literally had no other play. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was bad news bears. It was pretty tough. Yeah, I mean, like you said, I mean, I also feel like they did they did the deck so dirty, like hyping it up, like as the reveals were coming out. I think everybody was expecting. In New Hina. Hina. And then they just like pulled the rug out from under us and we're like, psych, you don't get a new Hina. Yeah. And then immediately everybody's like, crap. Like, yeah, we no needed new a new Hina. Hina. No new Hina is probably one of the worst things they could have done to us. Yeah. Genuinely. So you do end up doing it, um, playing yeah. door brick out and calling it a day. Yeah. And then unfortunately, I don't have. I do have the redirect inheritable in there, so I'm like, okay, at least I have like a big like blocker because he's like plus, um, it'd be plus two K, so he's 15. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just, I think I'm, uh, yeah, I'm 15 because I'm plus two and then plus one, so I probably should have just redirected and blocked, but I was like, okay, if he doesn't have another hybrid in hand, at least I wanted to wait to see if there was another hybrid in hand because if there wasn't oh. one, I could like be pretty okay. Well, there's a hybrid, yeah. And then Drell just digs in, is able to find Ooh, one does there. Get the Emperor though here. I think he I think he has a level four in hand already. Yeah, he boost. Just go Evo up into it. Goes ahead. We'll mm -hmm. Evo into He's checking to see um if I have any end deletions and I'm like I analog youth, I'll just gain memory to pass sure. turn. Yeah. So he does go ahead and evil for two here, and evil for one to Alda. Um, Alda is huge. Yeah, it just mm -hmm. goes Emperor, pops my stack, and it's like chokes me to one. I'll gain two memory off of that. Um, sure. I mean, it's like the safer play. You just sort of. Yeah, I don't have a four though. Yeah. yeah. So I scoot. And we go game three. Game three. Yeah, it's tough, man. I mean, like you said, the deck is just too fair. Yeah. In a meta that likes wanna... to just cheat speed and efficiency. Yeah, and in a meta where a lot of game decks don't play the game very fair. Yeah. I want I want it to be bad so good, though. Or I want it to be good so bad, though. <laughs> there was that one person that topped with it, no? At, like, a recent uh, region? No. No? No. I don't think it, ha it has not had any tops. I mean, I think that some people are running some of like the Volcanic Dramon and like the Marat and like the Galaxy deck. Um, but otherwise, aside from that, it had one top in JP during like this meta. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it, it's just you know it's like it's like we said many times. Too fair. It, it's too high Evo costs. No second Hina. Like, we really just needed a memory setter Hina that did exactly the same thing that this Hina does. That's right. all we needed. Right. 
It's, it's, it, that would and then the deck instantly would be probably way more competitive because then you right. just at least have a reliable like way to set memory and and I mean you know keep turn. I wouldn't necessarily say I like am an expert on the deck, but like just from watching you play, not just now, but even back when it first came out, it's like you live and die off a of Hina. You know, and if you yep. just give yourself more Hina targets, I mean, then you can function. But if you have four tamers that you're hoping to find, it's just tough. Yeah. You're also just memory starved all the time. Yeah. Too, which is the other hard part, which Hina um, can help, but not if you don't see it that much, which we have plenty of means to find her, but it's still, you know, it's still just hard to like keep up with the current game you speed. You do get some early chip damage with the uh, little guy. Mm -hmm. Draw for the Koro, you play out uh, your jasmine is it and yeah it's jasmine and then i'm able to a uh, drop a hina and then gain a memory for mm -hmm. playing a hina because of the jazza so i just put them to two draw though it goes ahead just cracks the boost just debating what he wants to do here we'll go ahead and evo into mm. burning gray burning gray in theory raid here if you wanted to and then swing and drop a tamer i think off of flame on's inheritable yeah, he's deciding what he wants to. He goes oh. and goes a Goonie. Right. Uh, well, he's, he declares a swing, goes into a Goonie, then goes into a Ancient. <laughs> swings four checks. He's 17k, so he doesn't care about anything. Oh, Ancient Grey. Um, I analog real quick. Grab Metallic Draw. Really. Those go bye-bye. It is turn two. two? <laughs> turn two. <laughs> turn three or turn two, something like that. So Ancient dies off of its effect, uh, but does drop a Flame Mon, and then... On deletion from tamer. Flame Mon can play yeah. out of Jesus. <laughs> yep. Talk about it. be memory. Yeah. Yeah. Which is exactly I'd what reckon. Dragon Links could use. Um. So at this point, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. I have like a decent tamer setup, but it yeah. does. It's not enough to like really get me anywhere right now. It's almost like it's just. Is I think this is just a perfect example. Right? Like we harped about this a lot already. Um, in the video, but like look at what Jarrell just did and look at what you have to do Like you have to f climb up pay the two pay the three do your thing and Jarrell just swung four checks Yeah, popped out a tamer off if, for like four memory Debating if I want to tap He to grab something back up not to mm -hmm. And then I I'm sitting here thinking I'm like, well, I don't have the ability. I don't have two Hina's on board so I cannot uh like clear both Ooh. both bodies something else so i just have to drop um a volcanic draw and just delete everything with the lowest dp and i'm just like well if he like, like my mind's like okay i know he can only swing one check normally but you can see a certain card that's in his hand right now <laughs> so he goes ahead he does the ancient deity we'll go ahead and grab back the burning gray mm -hmm. we'll play a tamer for three evo into the burning gray there we'll evo into alda for one and then Evo's into an Ancient Grave for four. We'll delete my Volcanic Draw. That's not uh -huh. the right one to do anything. So it just goes bye-bye. Swings the last check. And Oop. then, yeah, let's Omni. And it's just game. So and overall, Jarrell played super well. Jarrell played super, super well. And he just high-rolled me like crazy game three with that <laughs> that uh, that Ancient Grey. It's pretty slick. Pretty, pretty good yeah. red hybrid play. That's for sure. Yep. Yes, sir. But that about does it for the for the match. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Um, and like I said earlier in the video, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. Check out our socials and check out Sully's this TG, TCG player. But thank y'all for tuning in. Like I said, it's great to be back. I'm looking forward to the rest of this year with y'all and spending it all with my brothers over here. I'll see yeah. ya on that flippy flip. Bye-bye. <laughs>